Hello, it's Ozymatic here, back at it again with another YouTube tutorial series in 3 minutes or less. Today I want to briefly cover monitor setup to ensure you are getting the smoothest and more importantly the correct frame rate. I will be covering optimization of the NVIDIA control panel to take full advantage of the features already available to you. And I would really appreciate if you gave this video a like. Okay, the first thing we need to do is go to downloads on your monitor's support page. From here we're going to download the drivers for your monitor, which should include an INF file. The INF file just includes basic information for Windows to know how to operate your monitor including resolution, frame rate and colour settings. Next we're going to check your monitor is running at the correct refresh rate. To do this you need to right click on the background and go to display settings. Scroll down to the bottom, click advanced display settings and check your primary monitor is selected and that the refresh rate is set to the maximum available. We will then hop over to testufo.com, link down below, which will tell you exactly what frame rate your monitor is currently operating at. And from here we can be certain that your monitor is displaying the correct frame rate. Please check this. I find so many people on 60Hz. Just check. Next up is NVIDIA specific. Right click on the background, NVIDIA control panel. Once we're in the control panel we're going to go to setup G-Sync and make sure that G-Sync is enabled. Then we're going to go to manage 3D settings. We're going to scroll down a little bit here and make sure that low latency mode is on ultra. Then we have a frame rate cap of 2 to 3 frames under your monitor's refresh rate. I will explain this later. Make sure that G Sync is on compatible mode. And make sure that power saving management mode is on preferred maximum performance. Now, if you follow these simple steps, you will have what I've tested to be the most effective, consistent, low latency, and smooth gameplay experience for competitive shooters. Now, 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 I can sense the frame rate uncapped lovers about to bite my head off, but let me explain my reasoning. And I would love you to try it and share your thoughts or tell me I'm an idiot in the comments below. Whilst running uncapped frame rate sounds like a good idea, in reality, there are a few major disadvantages. Firstly, it puts extra load on your PC, making other background tasks like Discord, recording or streaming more challenging. Secondly, G-Sync is only functional up to your monitor's refresh rate, meaning you are losing the advantages of screen to GPU synchronization that is sure you get the exact frame displayed to your eyes precisely when it happens. And finally, when you run unrestricted frame rates, the latency between frames constantly fluctuates. If you keep it steady, just under your monitor's refresh rate, G-Sync will stay enabled, frame rates will stay constant, and therefore as a result, the latency is completely consistent. This consistent latency will help you better train muscle memory for reactive shooting in competitive titles. Now I'd love to sit here all day and talk about it, please take it in the comments below, but rules are rules and this is a three minute video. Please remember to like and subscribe, bye bye now.